Hello, my name is Veronica and welcome to The Learning Lab, episode number 101 with a not so small haul. After the last binge I went on, I promised I wouldn't do this to myself again, but when there are deals to be had, I can't help it. So come on in and let's get started. On a trip to Michael's, I hit the clearance aisles and found a couple of goodies. This little ditto stamp I thought was perfect for going in with some of my Spectrum Noir markers and coloring the heart and the bird. So that was really cute. Can't remember what I paid, but it was on clearance. Then they had their Cuddlebug folders 40% off. And with my teacher discount of 15%, that's almost like 50% off or just about. And so I got this one. It's baby's breath. Thought it was too cute. And then I also got Julie's Garden. And they come with the little border strip also. Now this I picked up, the Tiny Bubbles. Don't even know if I have it or not. If so, I'll give this one away to someone else. Now while I was in there, they had this Recollections card stock. Buy one, get one for a penny. So of course I took advantage of that because I can never have enough black and or craft card stock. But I realized that for two other sets I got, they didn't charge me the right price. So I'm going to have to return those and buy them again when they have a really special kind of deal that way. But now my best find at Michael's was this Strathmore Mixed Media Visual Journal. I have a small one that's this size. It's probably half of this. Absolutely love it. The paper is fantastic. It's a nice thick weight so that when I am doing something really wet on this side, I don't have to worry so much about it going to the other side. And this was the same as the Recollections pack. It was buy one, get one for a penny. They were $14.99, so I got two for $7.50. Plus, I got my teacher discount on top of that. So I got a really good deal on these items at Michael's. So I left there and went to AC Moore. Now AC Moore is clearing out quite a number of their Spellbinder dies. They have them marked down to $10. So I went and I saw the Star Circles. And I was saying, I don't think I have those. <laughs> so I got these. And this one I'd never seen. So I don't know if someone purchased and returned it. But they are the reverse wonky rectangles. But then my pay dirt was the grand templates. This creative book pages two by uh, Donna Salazar. Yeah, 10 bucks. But on the day that I was in there getting these, AC Moore had sent out a coupon to their rewards members that if you spend $25, you get $10 off. So I spent $30 here, saved $10, which was $20 that I paid. Great deal. Because this one, this puppy retails for almost $60. Bucks. So I thought that was a great deal at AC Moore. Also, while I was in there, I grabbed these Fulton. There are 12 invitations in here, and I didn't realize that it said graduation until I got home and was unpacking them. But I picked up these three, not so much for the graduation paper, but for the nice large size envelopes that are in here to put these in. So, you know, 36 envelopes for three bucks. I thought that was a good deal. So that was one of my AC Moore hauls. Now, on to the next one. Now, this one was probably my coup de gras. Heather over at the Paper Castle has been talking about and waiting on this Inka Dinka Doo stamping gear forever. Then someone in one of my Yahoo groups said, hey, you know they have that at AC Moore. I was like, really? So of course, they have a 50% off coupon. I went in there. This is retailing for $49.99. I used my coupon, which brought it down to $24.98. And then I had an AC Moore $10 rewards uh, certificate, so I used that. Walked out the door paying $15 for this. But here's everything that came in. So with this, I got a set of stamps. And I know that each set of stamps is retailing right now for $4.99. So you're looking at a $10 value right here. Just, you know, a little less than what I paid for it. Also, on here, when you get one of these gears, I think if it comes with this one, this is... $14.99 and then I think this one is $9.99 I also have another two sets of stamps here so basically between the two sets of stamps it paid for this 
And then on the other side, I have this and another gear. I want to say this one was maybe $6.99 and uh, maybe $5.99. Don't quote me on that. But I know when I price them out individually, because they do sell the individual pieces, it came to close to $70. They have it for $49.99 with a 50% off coupon. You can't beat it. So while they were still having the purchase $25 and save $10, my son made a purchase for me. Let me share it with you. And so what I have are the additional stamps to accompany the set. I picked up the fossil leaves and I I love that. I love them all. I'm, I'm a stamp addict for sure. The elegant flourishes. This one caught my eye with fall coming up and they're the branches. So versatile. All the seasons are represented there. This one I liked because it was so whimsical and these are feathers. Now, although there was something similar to this in the kit, I sat there really comparing to see what the differences were, and there were some. And this one is called Ornament Design. And then this last little one, I wasn't going to get it until I looked at the design that they'd created here. And I said, okay, you have to come home and live at my house. And these are the Twisted Vines. So, using my, let's see, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, I could have just gotten those, but I went ahead and threw that in. So, for 30 and I saved 10 you can do the math on that. Again, these retail for $4.99. So now on to my Tuesday morning haul. And because I didn't want any of the craft stores to feel in the least bit neglected, I tried to hit as many places as I could. The only one I didn't get to is Joanne's, and I'm sorry, Joanne, next time. But I was in, and I saw this wax seal kit. And I thought, hey, what is the thing that's on it? And I was trying to figure it out, couldn't tell, and so I went to the back and looked, and it was the letter V. Well, yeah, you got to come home with me. And so I picked up another one and I said, hmm, what's on the back of this? And guess what? It was the letter Z for Zachary. So without a thought, no doubt, these two came home to be with me. And one of my Tuesday mornings, I saw this pack from Tim Holtz, and believe it or not, I don't have this one. I have something similar to this and something else, but it doesn't have the distressed, shabby look to it. And this, I thought, great for a boy, very masculine, so I got it. And then I also picked up these ideology letters. Moving on to the stamps that I came across. All right, this is a pretty big stack, so I'm going to have to kind of um, split it in half. So let's go from here, move those off to the side. This one I got because we recently adopted Spencer from the Lost Dog and Cat Foundation. We love him dearly. I've been snapping tons of pictures. So when I saw this from the paper studio for $1.99, it had Spencer and Zachary written all over it. This one I got because it was cute and it was $1.99, but I love the little sayings, destination fun, uh, a getaway, our family, um, taking a trip and just the arrows, different little things and the who, what, where, when. So great for journaling. This one, oh gosh, so beach ready. Now I have to show you very quickly what I did to the palm tree mini. I went back and stamped a bucket there and put in some flip flops. Isn't that cute? So when I saw this one, which was a slightly different take, I thought, well, I need these flip-flops, and I need that bucket, and all the seashells, and the pineapple, and the umbrella, and hey, beach life. Can't beat it. And again, $1.99. I got this one because this is a variety of greetings. So there are times, you know, when you're stuck for something to say in just the right word, a lot of it's on here. Good luck, thinking of you, congratulations, get well soon, just for you, best wishes, love, celebrate, couldn't leave that there. Now this set I do have. And I had a friend who admired a card that I sent to her and she says, I really love that coffee when you use. Where did you find those stamps? So I'm hoping she never found it because I found it and I'm going to send that to her. This one is school related. Had to get that for my son. Maybe a little hard to see, but this is also from uh, the paper company, TPC. Now this one, uh, I got two graduation ones. Couldn't decide which one I really wanted because they both did and said different things. Like this one is very clear and I could get a design on the, the 
the mortar board and this one is solid and it has more things so I went ahead and picked up both you know somebody's gonna graduate at some point <laughs> autumn because I love autumn enough said on that one wonderful Christmas sayings I love these they're gonna go great with some of the spellbinder um, dies that I have and um, it's the most wonderful time of the year seasons greetings I, I love these. Cannot beat it. These were $2.99. This is my Christmas stack. These are very whimsical. I love that. I love the deer where I can make him a very nice um, solid standout image. More Christmas. As a matter of fact, I think I might have this stamp set. I'm going to have to go through and see. And if I do, this will make a great gift for someone. And then um, this one, which I also might have, but for $1.99. They'll make great gifts if I already own it. So now this is birthday. And what I plan on doing this year is setting up a card station in my classroom so that all of my kids will get a birthday card for their birthday. So these are some that I will actually take into school for the kids to use to make cards for our classmates. I think that's going to go over really well. Now this I just couldn't resist. I got this one mainly for my son to stamp and just color in and have fun with it. And I also picked up another one because this is going to be for a little friend who I think would love having these to color in also and they were $1.99. And then the very last thing I thought, well I'm sorry, the last two were journaling stamps. And these are from Autumn Leaves. I have quite a number of their journaling stamps. But in here you get these four. And for, you know, whimsical, female, masculine boys, I thought it was a great deal. It was $1.99. And I love how compact this is when you put it in. And then my last set was also autumn leaves. And they are just fantastic journaling stamps. So, with that said, Heather at the Paper Castle is going to the Rangers sale that's coming up. And, of course, you know me. I said, hey, can I send you some money and have you shop for me? But now, after, you know, doing this little haul, I think I should firmly glue my rear onto the wagon. Teresa's driving it. She said she'll come by and pick me up. So if you're looking for me, I think that's where I'm going to be, on the wagon. Thanks for stopping by. Please remember to check out my blog at inkallusions.blogspot.com. Until then.